Hi everybody, welcome back to music. I hope you're all really, really well and I hope you're ready to sing. Let's sing Epoe Tai Tai with our beginner actions. Here we go. Epoe Tai Tai -e. Now it's your turn to sing with your beginner actions. Here we go. Ready and singing off you go. Epoe tai tai e. Oh, epoe tai tai e. Epoe tai tai. Epoe tuki tuki. Epoe tuki tuki e. I think we're probably getting pretty good at them now. So. It's now challenge mode time. Now remember there's three levels. Beginner, challenge and expert. We are now up to challenge mode. Can you bake your hands in a steady ready position like this? And can you do this for me? My turn first. Epo, ita, time. Ready, steady, off you go. Epo, ita, watch again. Epo, ita, time. Your turn, off you go. Good, can you do that four times in a row with me? Four times in a row. Ready, off we go. Epo, itai, tai. Epo, itai, tai. Epo, itai, tai. Epo, itai, tai. Did you finish after four? Did you lose count? Do it four more times with me. Ready, here we go. Epo, itai, tai. Epo, itai, tai. Epo, itai, tai. That's our challenge mode pattern for Epoe Tai Tai. I'll sing it to you now with this new pattern on top. Look at this, have a watch of this. Off I go, Epoe Tai Tai. Try doing that new pattern while you sing with me. Hands in the ready position. Here we go. Epoe tai tai e. Oh, epoe tai tai e. Epoe tai tai. Epoe tuki tuki. Epoe tuki tuki e. We're going to do it two more times. You get one more time with me helping you, and then I'm not going to help you anymore. Hands in your ready position, really concentrate. Here we go. Epo we tie tie. It's your turn to be a risk taker and have a go yourself. Hands in the ready position. Ready and sing with me. is going to come back again next time I see you. Now it's time to take a look at some of the things we'll be doing in music today. Here's Left Right back with us again this week. Make sure that you have Left Right open and ready to use in your books. You can point in your books along with me. Let's sing as we point to the rhythm. Here we go. Ta 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 ti 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 ta ti 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 ta ti 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 ta. This time.
and we're going to point to our hearts. Do you remember from our last class what the hearts meant? The coloured in hearts were a heavy feeling and the not coloured in hearts were a light feeling. Let's point to the hearts as we sing this time. We'll sing the words of left, right. Off we go, left, right, left, right. One foot up and one foot down. All the way to London town. One foot up and one foot down. Can you see a pattern of hearts? Heavy, light, heavy, light. It looks like our hearts have a pattern of two and they're grouped in groups of how many? Two. Did you know that musicians have a very special word for music that is grouped in groups of two? Musicians call this two meter. Can you say that? Ready, go. Two metre. Our piece left right is in two metre, which means we need to group the music in groups of two to help musicians be able to read it even more easily. So now, hold on, we're about to look at what we are learning to today. Our Walt today is we are learning to write bar lines in our music to show meter. We just learnt that meter is what the beats are grouped into. So make sure you have a pencil ready. We're going to go straight back to left right in our books and learn to write bar lines to show meter. Okay, clever chickens, so to show metre, we need what we call a bar line. Can you say that with me? Bar line. I can see in our music we already have one. If you've got your pencil handy in your books, can you trace that bar line for me? It's very hard to do a nice straight line on the computer, but I'm trying my hardest for you, I promise. Now have a look at what's happened. Our bar line has shown that in this piece part of the music, I've got two nice neat beats to show me two metre. Let's see if we can find the next place to put our bar line. Heavy light, one, two. Okay, that's done. Let's find the next bit. Heavy light. So now I need to write my bar line here. If you've got your pencil handy, can you write your bar line in your book? Let's check. Have we got one, two, tick. One, two, yep, that's all good. Let's find the next place to have a bar line. Here we go. Heavy light. Ah, I think it needs to go here. If you've got your pencil, you can write your bar line there as well. Nice and straight. Let's check. Have we got one, two, yep, two beats, good. Next bar. One, two, yep, two beats, that's good. Next bar, one, two, two beats, yep, that's good. And let's see where our next bar line goes. One, two, I think our bar line goes here. When we've drawn our bar lines, we make little boxes now. It looks like our rhythms are in little boxes. We call that a bar. Can you say that? We have made a bar. Let's have a look at where our next bar line is going to go. One, two, I think it needs to go here. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, this is where it gets interesting. I'm not helping you to find the next bar line. You have to do that yourself. I'm not helping you to find the bar line after that. You have to do that by yourself. But I will help you with the very last one because at the end of our music, when it's finished, we have one bar line, but then we also have a second bar line. We call this a double bar line. 
Can you say that with me? Double bar line. You can put that in your music now. For a musician, a double bar line is a bit like a full stop. It means nothing else. Stop right there. We're finished. You have to finish the bar lines on the last line. There's two more to do and you need to show me you can find our one, two bar line pattern by yourself. When you're finished doing all the bar lines, you need to take a picture and upload it to Seesaw. Don't forget to put it straight into the music folder. Quick takeaway. Finish your bar lines. They're not finished yet. You have to finish the pattern. Take a picture, upload it to the music folder on Seesaw so I can see your learning. It's new song time and our new song is Fuzzy Wuzzy. Have a listen to our new song. Off I go, Fuzzy Wuzzy was up there. Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. Fuzzy Wuzzy wasn't fuzzy, was he? Do you get the joke? Let's sing together this time. Here we go. Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. Fuzzy Wuzzy wasn't fuzzy, was he? Look at this poor bear. His name is Fuzzy Wuzzy, but he is not fuzzy at all because he's lost his hair. Can you point to the melody on the screen as we sing together? That's called tracking the melody. Let's point. Off we go. Fuzzy Wuzzy was up there. Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. Fuzzy Wuzzy wasn't fuzzy was he this time we're going to track the melody like we did but it's going to be sitting on the music stay so that you can see how all the sounds relate to each other let's point together again sing with me here we go fuzzy wuzzy was a bear Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. Fuzzy Wuzzy wasn't fuzzy, was he? Very, very good. So we have a new note in this song, a note that we don't know yet. Some of you might not know. Some of you might be extra clever and do know. But we have our I sound as do, our middle sound, I sound as so, middle sound is me, and then a new mystery note. Is the mystery note lower or higher than me? It is lower than me. Is the new mystery note lower or higher than so? It's much lower than so. Let's sing Fuzzy Wuzzy in so far now with our so far hands. And when we get to our mystery note, we're just going to hum it like this. Mm -hmm. Let's sing in so far. Here we go. So me, so me. So me, so me. Me, so, so. Mm, me so 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 mm. that's a bit tricky i wonder if your brains are ticking and you're thinking hmm, what could that new note be called now we're going to sing the soul far again but our melody is sitting on the music stage so we can see how the how the pictures relate to each other let's sing again hands ready off we go so me, so me, so me, so me, me, so, so, me, so, so, so. Next class.
class or maybe even the class after. We're going to find out what that mystery note is. So in the next couple of weeks, hold on tight. If you think you know the answer, keep that answer in your head. If you're not quite sure, don't worry, we're going to reveal it all together. So be patient. It might be next class. It might be the class after. It might be the class after that. But we will find out what our new mystery note is. I think it's about high time we played a new game. This game is called Here Comes the Red Bird. You'll need a ball for this. It doesn't have to be a ball that can bounce. It's not going to happen. But it can be something that you can pass. If you have a little ball available, you can even use a little friend. Something easy to pass. So have your equipment ready to go. I'm going to sing you the song and I'll show you the game as well. Have a watch and a listen. Off I go, here comes a red bird through the window, through the window, through the window, here comes a red bird through the window, I dum di do dum die. So there's three actions we need to know. The first action is pass, pass. Can you do that with me? Ready, go. Pass, pass. Here it is again. Ready, go. Pass, pass. The second action, the through the window action, is when we pass the ball around our knees. Under, over, under, over. Can you do that with me? Ready, go. Under, over, under, over. The third action we need is throwing up high. Hi dum diddle dum die dee. Can you try that with me? Ready, go. Hi dum diddle dum die dee. Let's put them together slowly. I'll go first, you have a watch. <clears throat> it goes like this. Pass, pass. Through the window, through the window, through the window. Pass, pass, through the window. Hi, dum, diddle, dum, die. Can you have a try with me? We're going to go extra slow so we can do it all together. Set yourself up. Open your knee windows. <clears throat> Here we go. Pass, pass. Through the window, through the window, through the window. Pass, pass, through the window. Hi, dum, diddle, dum, die, dee. How did you go? Did you get all the actions? Which action did you find the trickiest? For me, it's the through the window one. This time I'm going to sing the song. And you can do the actions of the ball with me. If you want to extend yourself, you can sing some of the song with me. <clears throat> Let's play together. <clears throat> Here we go. Here comes a red bird through the window, through the window, through the window. Here comes a red bird through the window. I dum diddle dum die. Here comes a red bird through the window, through the window, through the window. Here comes a red bird through the window. I dum diddle dum die. Thanks for playing our new game Redbird this week. Now, don't forget if I've asked you to complete any work and upload it, please upload your work to Seesaw if you're in Prep 1 or 2 and Google Classroom to today's lesson if you're in Year 3 or Year 4. I'll look at your work and I'll give you feedback on your learning so that you can get even better and extend yourself where possible.
Now it's time to sing goodbye to each other. The music time is over. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye until the next time. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. The music time is over. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye until the next time. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Could you do our body percussion pattern with me? Remember, it goes like this. Hat, clap, click, click. Hat, clap, click, click. Hat, clap, click, click. Keep it going. Let's sing while we do that pattern. The music time is over. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye until the next time. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Have a great week and I'll see you next time.